Before I welcome Adrian, a little context. There is a debate at the moment raging about how well the UK economy is really doing. It depends on whether you're a glass half full or a glass half empty person. On the plus side, wages finally overtaking inflation. Employment is at a record high. Exporters say they're doing pretty well. And there are small signs of improving productivity. And of course, a royal baby is always very good for the economy. On the minus side, um, growth is weak this year, perhaps 1.6%. GDP growth, one of the lowest in the G20. There is the question of what the beast from the East did to uh, constructors, uh, retail groups and services in the first quarter. Did it really hit them so hard or was there something more fundamental going on? Clearly the Governor of the Bank of England, Mark Carney, thinks the economy is still fragile or he wouldn't have postponed the interest rate rise we were expecting in May. Meanwhile, the outsourcing industry provides one of the corporate stories of the year, whether it likes it or not. Uh, there is an image problem it's struggling with. Not everyone has got themselves into trouble, though. Given the crises at Capita, Carillion, Interserve, take your pick, there is a standoff between government and supplier over risk and reward going forward. There are one million people or thereabouts in the private sector supplying public services in many areas where government and local authorities simply no longer have the skills to provide. Returning that activity to the public sector would be harder than nationalising the water industry, but it doesn't mean that some politicians wouldn't like to give it a go. So where does Socrasteria sit in this world? It's a player of scale, operates in more than 40 countries. In the UK, it has 6,000 staff, 50 years of heritage working for the UK government. Current clients include the Home Office, Ministry of Justice, local authorities, and the Scottish government. And it has long-standing shared service JVs with the Cabinet Office and NHS. Let me bring in Adrian now um, to tell you a little bit more. And, um, Adrian, tell us what today is all about, first of all. 